Hi, it's Lisa. Oh my gosh, it is Marriage and Money Mondays. So uh, today I want to talk about partnership and the importance of establishing and protecting partnership in your marriage. Um, Keith and I went out to dinner a couple of nights ago and our waitstaff person uh, was 25 and single um, and all of her languaging was single. And Keith and I had this conversation, you know, and because he made a comment and I was like, you know, it's not about, she doesn't get that because she's not married. And he was like, yeah, but how many married women have that same mindset? And I was like, he's right, you know? So this is more to married women, but it is definitely applicable to everyone, okay? I do want to put that caveat out there. And hey, if you're single, I hope you're listening to this too, because this is how I learned what to do and not to do as a married woman while I was single. I'm just saying. So partnership starts when we choose not to have a single mindset, Okay, what does that mean? Making sure that we don't use the language of single pronouns is a great start. Okay, so I, my, we, it, uh, I'm sorry, I, my, and not we, um, that's where we start to, you get a, an indicator that we are not in full partnership. My kids versus our kids my house versus our house, my car versus our car. Those are all personal pronouns that are sing singular and not plural. And it took me a while because remember I was 43 when we got married. So I had spent all of my adult life with single pronouns. But that is the first start to having partnership in your marriage is when your your pronouns become plural, okay? We are doing this. We are so excited is what Keith always says. Oh, we are so excited. Yes, we are so excited. <laughs> Another indicator is when you make purchases ah, without discussing it with your spouse. Not only does that lead to financial infidelity, but you are acting as a single person in that moment. Um, when your bank accounts are not combined, you are acting as single people. You're not acting as partners. When you expect for your spouse, I saw something on social media a couple of months ago and it was like, I don't co-sign for my husband and I about dropped out of my chair. You can't co-sign for your husband. Why? Because you're married. That means that both of you are jointly in, in involved in that activity regardless of whose name is on the line right so please don't get me started on that one because as you can tell that one gets me all riled up okay that is the language of single people that is not partnership language when you want your marriage to function as a partnership you must act like partners i hope that's helpful please reach out if you need more on that okay Bye.